Welcome to McDonald's. Don't forget to claim your McDonald's rewards today. May I take your order? Hey, buddy. I'll uh, I'll have a uh, McDouble, uh, meat and fry, uh, filet of fish, and I'll. Filet of fish in a meal, right? Pardon me. Is it a filet of fish in a meal? Yes. Would you like anything else today? That's it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Is it just me or was that the most confusing McDonald's? Don't forget to claim your McDonald's today. May take your order? Hear that? Alright, so here's the deal. I've never actually eaten one of these guys. And before I give it my own spin, give it my own shot trying to make one, I figured I had to test out the OG, the real deal. Let's see what's under there. Honestly, kind of look, kind of looks like shit. Got the bun. We got the tartar sauce. And we got the cheese. That's it. And I, I don't know what kind of fish, probably like cod or something. All right, well, I don't think that's gonna be too hard to beat. The idea, or the goal for the video really is to just make that, but better. Obviously fresh fish, better bun, and better tartar sauce. Yeah, bit of a interesting way to start a video, I'm sure, at the <laughs> McDonald's drive through not my typical introduction, but this is a bit of a different video. That being said, I'll see you guys out in the lake. Gentle. Good boy, there you go. <laughs> All right guys, welcome back to the lake, we made it. So basically, in order to make the sandwich, first thing we gotta do is catch the fish. So that's what we're here doing. I call this spot the grocery store, so it's uh, pretty confident <laughs> in it, but you never know. So anyways, we're, for the sake of keeping it as authentic as possible, we're gonna try to catch a white fish. Now we need white meat. I actually Googled it and Donald's version uses Alaskan Pollock. So apparently it's actually wild fish, which was kudos to uh, McDonald's because I'm a little bit more impressed. I thought it was just gonna be farm something, but they claim it's wild, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's the plan is to catch, uh, see if we can catch a, a white fish and give it, give our best variation of, uh, of the flail fish. All right, so we were what, 65 feet here? This is pretty much the, uh, the butter zone. Let's see if we can catch a couple whiteies. Get down, Chester, down. My guy. What the fuck? There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's not a white fish. Not a white fish. Wow. Feels pretty good. <laughs> well. Oh my. We got something serious here, Chester. We got something serious down at 68 feet down. You can see him on the sonar. Oh, baby. It's funny, I was actually just cooling off the dog. <laughs> I was giving Chester some water and, and I saw this huge mark shoot right up, grabbed my rod and lifted it and instantly smashed it. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, come on, stay pinned, stay pinned. 
fish is doing a lot of rolling, a lot of shaking. Getting me all sorts of nervous. Oh my goodness. Staying down. 64 feet, lots of runs. This is gonna be a big fish. If we can land them, it's a big fish for sure, but I'm gonna see if I can get this ready. Get that ready to go. Oh my goodness. Chester, watch out, watch out, buddy. Got Chester on the frickin' trolling motor. I feel like we're in for a long battle here. This ain't, this ain't over yet. Chester, you're my good luck charm, buddy. As annoying as you are. Sit, I know, it's exciting. I know, I know, buddy. Watch out for that. Oh, it's a tank. That's a tank. He's not ready. It was right there. Come on, buddy. Come here. Got him. Oh, baby. Put lures out. The lure is out. Oh, oh, why? Oh, <laughs> Chester, watch out. Big fish. Whew. What a fight. Brand new buckshot, getting her done. Love it. Stay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Chester, move. Chester, move. Jesus. What do we got? Almost. 30. We got 20, 29 and three quarters, but just a freaking chunker. Look at that freaking lake trout, guys. Absolutely enormous. This fish will probably go, I'd say, I'd say it's a 12 pound fish, but just gorgeous colors. Watch out. Look at the yellow fins. There she goes, straight back down. Here we go, there's another one. Stay pinned, stay pinned. He's flopping like crazy. <laughs> Stay pinned. Okay. All right, Chester, you gotta let me uh, let me do my thing here, okay, bud? Good scrapper. Good weight on this little, this whitey. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, almost, almost lost him at the net. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, it looks like we can make our sandwich after all. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, Chester, come here. I know, come here. Chester. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> oh, God. Chester. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guys. There's our whitey. Perfect eater size. Nice to finally got one. It's been a, lot, been a bit of a tough haul. Here's another one. Okay, Chester, if this is a whitefish, you know we're gonna stay in the boat. <laughs> gonna stay in the boat, buddy. Here it comes. Oh, it's a little trout. Nice. Perfect eater. Perfect eater size trout. Oh my god. I want to break free. <laughs> No way. 
I gotta fix that hole. I need a rope or a zip tie. Oh man, that's a bummer. That was a perfect eater. Out of the net. Are you kidding me? Well, it's pretty funny. Can't even be mad about that. Jesus. <laughs> Watch out. Oh. Okay, so now I think the most difficult part of this whole day is, uh, is coming up. I don't know if I'm gonna clean this fish with uh, Chester around. So I've already, you can see I've already gutted the fish and I've taken the bottom fin off. So it's a, white fish are pretty simple to clean. Um, typically I'm just gonna cut behind the gills and run right, bit, right down the backbone. Chester, go away. Like so, right to the tail. And then basically all you have to do is take the ribs out. That's what dulls out your knife. I like this to cut, make the first cut around all the ribs. Kind of feel it out with your, with your hand. Chester, buddy, flex the blade and angle it up and to slice against the bottom of the ribs. Hardest part is just gripping the skin. And voila, that's a white fish fillet. What would you say, use, you can use either one of these actually, I don't know which one looks better. There, is that accurate? Stay, stay, stay. I recently uh, stepped up my shore lunch game picked up this nifty new camping stove. <laughs> now the one I used previous to this was a Coleman grill that must have been from, I think it was my great grandmother's. It was, <laughs> it was old. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Beautiful. Not too sketchy, eh? trying to keep this as close to the real deal as possible. So I just made a flour mix. If you look at the actual McDonald's flail fish, um, it's kind of as lightly, lightly breaded and fried. I would have liked to have done a flour mix and panko, get that little extra crispiness, but um, no, sit for the sake of uh, keeping it as close to the OG. The original flail fish, I'm just gonna do a flour mix. Spatula would've been a good idea. So there we go, like I said, flour, pepper, paprika, chili. Nothing crazy, just a flour mix, pretty basic stuff. Just gonna douse them in there. Get them nice and coated. Beautiful. The flail fish just has some tartar sauce and cheese. So we go cheese, fish, sauce. Okay. We'll go cheese. Look at that. That turned out so mint. Look at that. Beautiful. Now our tartar sauce is what I make it with. We got mayonnaise, pickles lemon juice and Worcestershire sauce. 
to load that up. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, and uh, Dijon, Dijon mustard. What do you think? Wow, it looks freaking pro. The finished product. Wow, does that look decent, eh? Freaking decent. Now granted, this is a couple days old and uh, maybe a little soggy, but the real deal, Mickey D's. Now which one do you think looks better? I don't know, pretty tough. <laughs> I think McDonald's, I think you got your work cut out for you. I will say that I feel like I'm doing the McDonald's a little bit dirty because it's like a few days old and a little soggy, but I mean, regardless, you can't, you can't beat caught fresh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice grilled bun. Oh, it's really good. Fresh fit, like, I mean, it doesn't get much fresher. We caught that like 45 minutes ago. <laughs> That's it. Man, that was like nine out of 10, pretty close. I, I got one bone. If it wasn't for that, it would have been a perfect 10. Pretty happy with the outcome of that. I mean, Bryce caught a huge lake here, caught some nice whiteies. Chester didn't drown. Made some decent, decent, decent grub. It's a perfect day. I mean, Christ, what else could you ask for? Definitely, definitely enjoy doing this kind of thing. So if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next. Thanks you guys, uh, thanks again for watching. I do appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that like button. Well guys, until next time, thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon. <laughs>